Hello, today's session was on the timing of the various phases of Ocho Cortado and uh, today we had time to mess with only step one and two of Ocho Cortado and show different timings. So before we start, we want to have the frame of reference of the classic Ocho Cortado timing which is quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow and then we will see what the changes are. So the classic Ocho Cortado would be quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And so we started making changes to that by realizing that for each step, the timing is flexible. The step is a structure of the movement, but it doesn't say how fast or slow it should be. Therefore, what we can do for the first step Instead of rebound, we can take a full step, not 50-50 and reverse, but we can take a full step and go full step forward and full step back if the music is slow enough. And the music to which we did this today is the Bahia Blanca, which starts slow for the first 15 seconds and then becomes faster and rhythmic. So it is the ideal piece within the first 30 seconds to have the slow and then fast. So one variation then in terms of timing of the first step of Ocho Cortado is not to rebound it, but uh, take it as a normal step in normal timing, and then the rest is the same. The other one is to cut out my forward step because nothing happens with my forward step but everything happens with my backward step and her forward step. So I can completely cut that out and start with essentially the first uh, step of basic eight which is this and now we can do the Ocho Corta. The other variation on step one in terms of timing is very slow lunge where I go down with her and we stay down and we come back. So still it is rebound in the sense that we don't collect but it is very slow, it is very slow rebound. So it would look something like this. And the rest would be the same. Then, uh, this is my cheat sheet. So then we did uh, this timing of the second step. So the second step, of course, is, is her front cross. So when she comes here, I can buy time by taking her back in the back cross, and then like nothing happened, the ocho corta. Or I can actually do a full ocho, classic ocho, and then, like nothing happened, don't do the ocho cortado. So I lead her in this ocho, and then I lead her here for the ocho cortado. And the last variation that we did for the um, second step of ocho cortado is where I delay those uh, her, her side step. So essentially, what what I do is. I take her here and I'm supposed to uh, invite her to do the side step, but I don't. I take two more steps which cancel each other and now she's ready for the essence of Ocho Cortado, which is side and close with chest turning. So that was the summary of the timing variations on the first two steps of Ocho Cortado and next week we will do the various timing variations on steps three and four. Thank you.